Hello, and thank you for being here and joining me in this Give 100% with the Pedal the Cause community. My name is Sophia Da Silva, and I am here to guide you through your movement practice today, which is going to be yoga. Um, I'm honored to be here in collaboration and to contribute to this incredible cause. Pedal the Cause, since its inception, has donated $13 million to 71 different local chapters here in San Diego. And personally for me, this is my why. What I love about Pedal the Cause is that it contributes to the cancer community here locally. Um, in, additionally, what I love is that their goal is to increase survivorship and to accelerate cures. And I don't know about you, but uh, my life has been deeply affected by um, cancer. Many people in my life are affected by cancer. Uh, one in three people will be diagnosed with cancer. And it's the number one cause of death in San Diego, third cause of death in the United States. And so I'm here because I really believe that when we come together to collaborate and draw out what's best in one another, we move mountains. So this week we've been moving, we've been doing a lot of this, we've been doing a lot of this. If you did that 100 minute ride with Kelly, holy moly. And so this sequence, this movement practice today is designed to open everything up, to lengthen everything, to revitalize, to rejuvenate you, and to ignite you with that power of life that is living and strong within all of us. The last thing I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna add a little different take on this 100, give 100%. There's a lot of ways for us to interpret what does it mean to give 100%. We've been doing that all week. From a yoga perspective, to give 100% today, what I encourage you to do, what I challenge you to do, is to really draw upon what yoga says the definition of yoga is, which is to increase your awareness of what you're doing when you're doing it. I got a little surprise woven into the sequence um, here at the beginning, but for now, we're gonna start on our backs. So if you'll join me in laying down, laying down, different way to start probably from the week. If you'll come all the way down to the earth and find a full body stretch. So stretching your arms up overhead, that good morning stretch that you take, really point the toes, extend through the fingertips. Take a deep breath in and go ahead, open mouth. Give yourself a ha, exhale as you draw your knees into your chest. For a few moments here, you're just gonna rock side to side. Feel free to take those side to side movements into circular movements with your knees. And then to start, we're gonna extend out nice and wide into this resting position. So taking the heels to the wide edges of your mat, resting your palms on your belly. And beginning to close off your eyes and connecting inward and remembering the invitation to giving 100% is giving 100% of your attention to the moment to moment on your mat. And so in this moment, draw your awareness to your breath and feel that pulse, that source of life that happens here underneath your palms. Take a full breath in. And one more time, open mouth, option to give it a little ha as you exhale. And we'll get started here by taking your right heel off of the mat and then crossing your left heel over the right. So team, I forgot to ask if we're mirroring, but I'm just gonna go with it. Take a full breath in. You'll extend your arms up overhead. And then you're gonna arc your body over to that right side as well. So creating this half moon shape with your body. And the point here is to get nice and open through the left side of your body and to breathe deep. Now, if you'd like, you can take your right hand, grab a hold of your left wrist and pull the right side of your body over, or excuse me, the left side of your body over. You've got one more breath in. And with your exhale breath, you'll slowly release, uncross left from right. The left heel goes over, the right ankle goes on top of the left. And again, we'll arc the body over to the left. Grab a hold of the right wrist 
and breathe deeply. It is the breath that's going to expand all that awareness of what's happening there in your right side. You have a full breath in and a full breath out. And we'll slowly come back to center. You'll uncross everything. Reach nice and long. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale breath, you'll draw your knees into your chest. Feel free to rock side to side here. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of love today. So set the sole of the left foot down. Send your right leg to the sky. Take your hands. Walk them up the back of your leg. Any amount here. So let's open up those hamstrings. And again, the point here 100% here means giving awareness to the moment. And I want you to actually massage the back of your legs. Feel here the quads, the hamstrings, the calves. Self-care, self-care. It all begins with us here. The ability to give love, compassion, to tend to our own well-being here. It starts with us. You'll pause, take a full breath in. If you'd like, extend your left leg nice and long. And then we're gonna kick the right leg over to the left side of your room. Open the arms nice and wide, get that nice little twist. Expand through your fingertips, take a full breath in. And team, from here, we're gonna go into a quad stretch. We all need quad stretch. Roll to that left side. Rest your head in your bicep, and then kick your right heel towards your glute. Grab a hold of the foot. Okay, and you want to squeeze your glute to open up the front of the thigh. You'll take a full breath in, a full breath out. We'll slowly release, come back to your back. So we'll take that whole sequence on the opposite side. So full breath in, pull the knees in towards the chest, smooth out your low back, set the sole of the left foot down, kick the right leg up. Give yourself that love. So walk your hands up the back of your legs. Work into the calves, which are connected to the heart here. They pump the blood back up to the heart. Walk it up through the quads, the hamstrings. If you want a little bit more energy here in that hamstring stretch, extend through the right leg. Take a breath in, open your arms nice and wide into that T-shape, and then kick the right leg, excuse me, left leg across the body. Take a breath in, really expand and open here through the chest. 100% of your attention to this moment to observe the feedback that the body's giving you. We're gonna come to that quad stretch. So we'll roll to our right side, We'll kick the left heel towards our glute, grab a hold of the foot, and then again, drive through your glutes to open up through the front of the body, that left quad. You may be a little tight from a lot of squatting, a lot of lunging, a lot of riding of a bike. Take a full breath in. Team, you'll release, come back to your backs, and here's what we're gonna do. Our transition is to pull your knees in towards your chest. And then start to rock and roll a couple of times to bring you up to seated. So our sequence today, we're working from the ground up. Right? When you're ready, you'll find your way to your seat. Cross your left ankle in front of your right. We'll sweep the arms up, take a full breath in, draw that breath of life in, and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Again, we'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach up, take a full breath in. Awareness of what we're doing when we're doing it. Hands to heart center. Last time, full breath in, reach up. Option, open mouth, exhale. We'll sweep the arms out to the side and we'll make a change here. Take a full breath in. Drop your right palm down, reach your left arm up and over. Now, as you reach up and over, the goal here, again, to open through that right side. Side bodies hold the front and the left side, or the front and the back of the body. You're gonna open up your left elbow. Like you're gonna draw it back behind you, spiral your chest up towards the sky. And then take your hand to the back of your head. Press your head into the back of your palm, take a breath in. And then take your left elbow to your right knee, draw your chin in towards your chest. Let's get that upper back area, mid back. And we'll do that two more times with your breath. Feel the breath come in, open up the elbow. And then exhale, hand to the back of the head, elbow to knee. Now, as you bring the elbow to knee, really press through your right palm. Open up one more time, take a full breath in. You can keep the hand at the head. Exhale, elbow to knee. 
Here's our change. You're gonna extend your left arm out. Like you're gonna reach out and grab somebody's hand. Again, that collaborative effort. Think of reaching towards somebody that you know that is in need of our support. And then slowly swivel to that opposite side. Reach both palms out in front of you, and then we'll find our way to that opposite side. So the left palm comes down, the right arm goes up and over first. You're gonna catch that opening through the right side. If you have any neck issues, feel free to look down, that's okay. But in the spirit of today, in the spirit of this week, in this cause, if you can, I encourage you to look up. Look upward. We'll take a breath in. We'll draw the right elbow, imaginary back pocket, hand to the back of the head, breathe in through the elbow as if the breath's gonna reach the elbow and then elbow to knee. Get the mid back here. Again, inhale, open up, option to take the hand away from the head, open more through the shoulders, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, breathe in. Use the breath here to draw in more awareness, and then as you exhale, elbow to knee. From here, we're going to open up, reach first. Again, reach towards something. Okay. Draw the chin in towards the chest, press through your left palm. We're gonna come through the center first. Both fingertips, or all 10 of your fingertips can reach out in front, just to open up your low back, take a breath in. And from here, think of lifting up from the hips and rise up tall through the spine, take a breath in. We're gonna take the fingertips back behind you, uncross your ankles, take the soles of your feet down. Fingertips are gonna point towards you or towards your sacrum. Option one, just press into the palms, lift your chest, Option two, I call this the counter pose to life, right? So open, lift the hips up towards the, the sky. Because this kind of undoes everything that we do today. Computers, screens, all of that forward moving, hunching over position that we've become so accustomed to. See if you can drop your head all the way back. Press down into your feet, take a full breath in. Okay, with your exhale breath, we'll release your hips to your mat and then cross your ankles, roll over your knees and come up into a tabletop position. From here, we'll take the knees nice and wide, shift your hips back, find your way into a little child's pose. Forehead down. We'll rise up to our tabletop position and organize the knees right underneath your hips, shoulders right underneath your wrists. And with an inhale breath, we'll find a traditional cow pose. So dropping the belly down, we'll lengthen through the crown of your head to create that sense of extension in your spine. And then with your exhale breath, round and find cat, finding that flexion in your spine. Now come up to your fingertips, keep rounding through your spine, and then start to shift forward and back a couple times. Keep your tailbone tucked, shift forward and back, forward and back. Okay. Team, from here, we're gonna go through some slow cat cows, starting from your tailbone. As you inhale, you're gonna drop the belly down, unfurl the spine, you're gonna go through mid back. Then the chest comes through, then the crown of the head lifts. And we'll start again from your tailbone. Slowly scoop the tailbone under. Then your upper middle back lifts. And the last thing to come down is the chin in towards the chest. We'll do that one more time from the tailbone, slowly unfurl. Again, awareness of what you're doing when you're doing it. The point here is to slow down, to connect more, to give 100% of your awareness to the moment from the tailbone. Last time, find your cat pose. Okay, and then from here, we'll stay in our tabletop position, extend your right leg out to the side. Okay, align your big right toe with your left knee. You'll drop the belly, cow pose. As you do that, pull your hips back. You're gonna open up your inner right thigh. With your exhale breath, you're gonna pull back into this little cat pose, okay? Shift your hips all the way back one more time. And here's where we're gonna go from here. You'll lift your hips up, walk your palms over to your right foot. Take your left hand, maybe you can grab your foot. Maybe you can drop your head all the way down. And maybe you can send your right arm to the sky, getting that deep twist, that nice opening in your inner right leg. If you need a little bit more stability, the right arm can stay on the ground to support your balance. 
You're here for a full breath in and a full breath out. To lift back up, you wanna take your right palm right outside of your face, lift up, untwist, send your left arm to the sky. Breathe in, and with an exhale breath, set your left palm down. You'll use your core strength to bring you up to standing. We'll come into what's called gate pose. Reach up towards the sky, take a full breath in, drop your right palm down, left arm's gonna reach up and over, side bodies. Okay. Option to take the hand to the back of the head, breathe in. Team, we'll rise up, use your core to bring you upright. We'll transition to modified side plank. So the left palm's gonna come down right underneath your shoulder. It's okay if you're off of your mat, okay? Lift the right leg off of the ground. Sweep your right arm overhead, and we're gonna go for that quad stretch. So kick the right heel towards the glute. Open up those quads. Heel towards the glute. Try and look upwards. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You'll extend the right leg nice and long here. Set it back down to the ground. Pivot your right toes out and then pop it up into what I call this little hero's position, opening up the hips. Sit deep into this right knee. Right knee is driving over your right toes. You can open up the chest, look up towards the sky, take a breath in. And then from here, we'll slowly rise back up, straighten the right leg, come back down, hands underneath the shoulders, pull the right knee in. We'll move to the opposite side. Left leg extends. Okay, drop it into that cow position. Remember, we're targeting the inner left leg here, adductors. As you exhale round, find your cat pose. We'll do that one more time. And then team, walk your hands over towards your left foot. Maybe you start to pull your hips back and stay there. Maybe we start to work the right arm underneath you. Maybe you capture your left foot. Left ear or right ear comes down, left arm to the sky. You can extend it, keep it overhead here for more balance, or wrap it around your back here. You're more on the back of the head than you are the ear. You have two breaths. Take one more full breath in, one more full breath out. Send the left arm to the sky, take a breath in. Press down into your left palm to unwind your right arm. Look up towards the sky, targeting that upper middle back area. And then as you exhale, release the palms down. We'll rise back up to our gate pose, reach up towards the sky, take a full breath in. Let's go up and over, left palm down, right arm overhead with an option to take the hand to the back of the head. Lift up, take a full breath in. We're going to that side plank, modified variation here. Right palm down, left arm reaches up overhead. Okay, we'll float the left leg off of the ground, find that sense of stability. Balancing here, we'll go for the quad stretch, grab a hold of the left foot, heel towards the glute. Open the chest. Try and press through your right palm. You're lifting and opening. We'll release the left leg. Set the left foot on the ground. Pivot your left toes out. Open up for the hips. Lean into that left knee, just driving over your second toe. Open the chest, take a full breath in. And then straighten the left leg. We'll come back to a neutral position. So palms underneath the shoulders, pull your left knee in. And then everybody's favorite pose, we'll drop it into cow and then lift it up and back to downward facing dog. Dropping the head. I always say in your first downward facing dog, take a few breaths to again, explore the body. You're bringing that awareness. Okay, we'll find our way to a little bit of stillness. Take a breath in, come high onto your tiptoes. And with an exhale breath, take a squat at the back of your mat, look forward, and then take a giant step forward with your right foot and your left foot. Lift up, and as you exhale, kind of spill over, forward fold. Bend your knees deeply, rise up, reach up, take a full breath in, palms reach overhead, and with your exhale breath, hands come to your heart center. Now, what we're gonna do is, in honor of this day, in honor of this cause, I want you to call to mind first, yourself for showing up for this week, for all the events of the day, if you did the 100 minute ride, if you did the Orange Theory class, and if this is your third class, you're gonna bring yourself to mind, okay? And hold yourself in the center of your mind, and you're gonna dedicate this set of movement to yourself for showing up, okay? Because we all gotta give a little bit in order for this to work, in order for us to find cures, to increase survivorship, we all gotta play our part. So to you for showing up for this week, for this day, Okay, drop the palms down to honoring yourself here. We'll take an inhale breath, reach up towards the sky, deep breath in, 
Freedom dive, exhale, great exhale down, Uttanasana, we forward fold. Come up for that halfway lift. And with an exhale breath, you'll plant your palms and you'll step back to the top of your push-up. Okay, hold the top of your push-up. Breathe here, feel your strength, feel the moment. Okay, see if you can scoop your tailbone, right? Press strongly, feel the upper back lift here and try and take the shoulders away from the ears. We'll stretch the chest forward. You'll take a three second lower to the ground. Three, two, and one. Come all the way down to your bellies. Tap the tops of the feet down and then with an inhale breath, lift up for a little baby cobra. Okay, whenever we back bend, which we're doing here, you wanna turn on the strength of your legs to support you. As you exhale, let the forehead come down. Again, inhale breath, you can come up, baby cobra. Maybe if you're ready for it, if you're a little bit more seasoned, maybe you come up, teenage cobra. Okay, as you exhale, release the forehead to the earth. We have one more, and it's your choice, baby, teenage, or if you're ready for it, you can come up for that upward facing dog, the thighs lift off of the ground. Squeeze through the legs, take a full breath in. We're all gonna find our way back to our downward facing dog. Breathe, remember to you, to you, dedicate each breath. Take an inhale breath, come high into your toes. And as you exhale, however you wanna travel there, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift for all your grit, all of your effort, all of your power this week, and as you exhale, forward fold. Stand up, reach up, and as we reach up, we honor what happens when we come together. Exhale, hands, the heart center, everybody playing their part. Okay, now you're gonna let that go. You're gonna call to mind somebody that you know that is currently in treatment, striving for their health, striving for their survivorship, striving to help accelerate this cure. Call that person to mind. Hold them in your mind's eye. Every breath, every part of this sequence, you devote, you dedicate, you honor them. When you're ready, drop the palms down Hold them in your mind's eye. Breathe up, reach up, take a full breath in. Freedom dive, Uttanasana fold. Come up halfway lift. And as you exhale, plant the palm, step back. We hold strong in the strength, honoring that person, sharing, perhaps giving some of our strength to them amidst this time. Maybe you have a few people in mind. Squeeze here, glutes are engaged. Take a breath in. Stretch, lead with the head and the heart. That collaborative, that harmonious nature. If you have that upward facing dog, you can come into it. Know that you always have the option to come all the way down. The upward facing dog is not necessary. We're all meeting back in that downward facing dog. However you wanna get there, I'm showing modified. Take it back to downward facing dog. Again, hold that person in your mind's eye. Somebody currently amiss treatment. Breathe, breathe for them. Shared energy here, take a full breath in, come high onto your toes, look forward. We leap forward for them, for their victory. Whatever that looks like, take an inhale breath, come up halfway lift to honoring them here. As you exhale, humble bow forward. Stand up, reach up, take a full breath in, hold them, reach for them. And as you exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, you're gonna slowly let them go. Third round. We're gonna call to mind somebody who maybe is no longer with us, honoring those we've lost to cancer. We honor them too. And we stand strong here because we live out the legacy of how they have touched our lives. Hold them in your mind's eye. Take an inhale breath. Reach up towards the sky, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, fold forward. To honoring them with each breath, come up for that half lift. Familiar movement, but different intention. Plant the palms, we hold strong. We hold strong. Take a breath in. We hover above the earth here. To honoring them. Come up for that up dog or that cobra. Remember, there is nothing wrong 
One of the greatest warriors I've known taught me that softening is not weakening. This may be where you're at today. As you exhale, we all lower or take it back to downward facing dog. Again, hold that person in your mind's eye. Maybe there's a couple. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, we travel forward again in their honor, their legacy. Come up for your halfway lift. And as you exhale, forward fold. Stand up tall, reach, breathe in. And as you exhale, we take the hands to prayer heart center. We take one more breath to honor them for all that they gave us, all that they taught us. And we make that commitment to continue our collaborative effort, joining together, supporting one another, and especially for this cause, the beauty of this cause, supporting our local community. We're gonna take it up a notch, team. From here, drop the palms down, reach up towards the sky, take a breath in. With your exhale breath, you're gonna dive it forward to that forward fold, familiar place. Come up for your halfway lift. And with your exhale breath, you're gonna step your left leg back. You're gonna lower to your left knee and we'll rise up to this little modified crescent, reach up towards the sky. Maybe the biceps by the ears, you're opening up through the front side, especially that left side, your left toes can stay tucked under. As you exhale, frame your right foot and then simply step it back to downward facing dog. You'll step your left foot forward. You're gonna lower to your left knee, or excuse me, right knee and rise up to your Anjaneyasana, also known as modified crescent. Notice my right toes are tucked under. I am scooping and pressing forward. I'm using my glutes to open up through this front side. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, frame your left foot, lift the right knee, and we're gonna step forward, forward fold. Okay, from here, halfway lift. As you exhale, fold deep. You're gonna come up one-legged Tadasana, balancing on your left leg, you'll pull your right knee in. We're gonna open up the hips, outer right ankle, top of your left knee, shift your hips back. Fingertips maybe touch the ground for a little bit more stability. Now what's really important here is that you flex your right toes, spread the toes wide, pull the hips back. You're balancing on your left heel. And here's where we're going from here. You'll pull your right knee in, okay? Sweep the arms up. We're gonna go for a quad stretch. You can go double palm, double hand quad stretch. A lot of quads. Press the hips forward. We need it, we need it, we need it. Okay, now you can stay here. If you wanna take it back into a little dancers, open up the palm, thumb out. We start to kick back. Maybe reach the left arm forward. This is only an option. Know that you can stay here. Okay, we'll be here for three, for two, and for one. We're gonna take a giant step back. I call it straight leg warrior one. Okay, left foot is forward. Right foot is back. Take a breath in, hinge from your hips, fold over your left leg. You can bend your left knee. Okay, bowing inward. Take a full breath in here. We'll move a couple times. With an inhale breath, you'll put the bend back into your left knee, stretch your chest forward. Maybe the knee lowers. Exhale, you're lifting your hips high. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lift your hips high. Inhale, come forward. Good, last time. Pull the hips up and back. And we're gonna lower all the way to your right knee. We make a change. Familiar place, but a little different. Right palm's gonna come down. Left arm's gonna reach towards the sky. Okay, like you're swimming, swim your left arm back and then frame your left foot and pull your hips back. Okay, we open up the hamstrings. Walk forward and fold down. Now you can stay here if you want a little bit more of your IT band. Option to take your palms outside of your left leg. Drop your toes. Think of trying to scissor your thighs. It's not a big sensation. Remember, 100% in the mat today means increasing that awareness. So can you feel just a subtle sensation in the outer left leg? Okay, from here, we'll walk the palms back to frame your left foot. You're coming back to your low lunge. Take your palms inside of your left foot 
And if your ankles are strong, healthy today, roll open to the knife edge of your left foot. Let's open the hips a little bit more. Take a breath in. And with your exhale breath, we'll set the sole of the left foot down, plant the palms, lift up and back, downward facing dog. And from here, take an inhale breath, come high onto your toes. And as you exhale, step or float forward to the top of your mat, familiar place. You'll come up for that half lift. Exhale breath, forward fold. Again, we're gonna rise up one leg into Dasana this time. Stand up on your right leg, pull your left knee in. Woo! And then figure four, stretch. Let's get the hips. Outer left ankle, top of the right knee, shift the hips back. You wanna drop your left knee down. Remember the toes. Maybe keep the chest open. If you can reach the fingertips to the ground, just helps us ground a little bit more and breathe. Now at any point in this practice, maybe giving 100% today is holding somebody in your mind's eye. Maybe you gotta do it for somebody else. Maybe you gotta do it in somebody's honor. But give every breath. Okay, you have one more full breath in, one more full breath out. Stand up strong. Take a full breath in here. We'll stand up nice and tall. We'll pull the left knee in. We're going to that quad stretch. So first, left heel towards the glute. I'm using both of my hands. Hug the heels in. Remember, drive through your glutes to open up through the front of the left thigh. Maybe you stand strong here. Keep your attention, keep your awareness here. We're great at being distracted and leaving the moment, but can you be here? Okay, second option is to take it into that dancer's position. You're just flipping the grip. That means thumb open and you start to kick back and reach forward. And you're here for three, two, one. Everybody's gonna extend back and it's that straight leg, warrior one, step back. Straighten the right leg, take a breath in. We expand into the breath, and now exhale, you fold into that space that you just created. You hinge from the hips, soft bend into the right knee, fold over your right leg. Take a breath in, lift your chest, and as you exhale, fold down over your leg. Team, we have just a little bit of movement. This is really kind of to lubricate the hips, the lower body, to bring that breath to movement energy here. As you inhale, you come forward. As you exhale, you lift your hips high. Again, inhale, option to come forward. Maybe the back knee softens. And as you exhale, lift the hips up and back. One more, inhale here. And as you exhale, up and back we go for the hamstrings. The inhale is gonna bring you back down to that modified crescent pose. The left knee comes down, we change it up a little bit, we keep the left palm down and the right arm goes towards the sky. Always easier to look down, but encouraging you today to look upward. Take a breath in and like you're swimming, big circle back. Here's the difference, just doing this versus awareness, right? Of lifting and being more intentional with how you sweep back. Pull the hips back. Okay, little hamstring stretch will lift the chest. And it's super important here to customize. So much of yoga is customizing this to fit your needs today. Option one, stay here. If you're following me, joining me in that IT band stretch, remember, we drop the right toes down. And we walk in that same direction here. So there's this little twist happening in the belly and the scissoring action happening in your inner legs here to feel that subtle sensation in the IT band. Okay, we'll take one more breath in. And with your exhale breath, we'll slowly come back. Palms are gonna come inside of your right foot. We're going to that runner's lunge, roll to the knife edge. Okay, if the ankles are, are bothering you, keep the foot down, that's okay. But if you can stay upright a little bit here, engaging, think of drawing the ground up. Okay, take a breath in. Team, we'll plant the palms and step it back into your downward facing dog. And take a full breath in here. 
and a full breath out. When you're ready, we'll walk it to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift again to honor this union, this coming together, this collaboration. It's not possible. Exhale without you. Exhale forward fold. Stand up, reach up, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, hands come back to your heart center. Again, bringing to mind one more time our cause, our why, our reason for being together. And honoring this vessel that you inhabit. And igniting here what's good within you. Take a full breath in with the breath. Expanding that awareness. We'll drop the palms down. Reach up towards the sky. Deep breath in. We're bringing this down to the ground. As you exhale, open up nice and wide. Dive it forward. Take an inhale breath to lift your chest. And then you'll toe the feet together to touch. And you're going to do a little tuck, squat, and curl. Push the ground away. And then slowly drop the hips and have a seat. And then extend the legs nice and long for a moment. And we'll find our way into a little butterfly position. So soles of the feet are going to touch. You'll take a full breath in to lift your chest. I encourage you, take your palms down for a moment. You want that little um, anterior tilt in your pelvis. That means you want the hips back behind you, okay? And then from here, you can grab a hold of the knife edge, the pinky edge of your feet. Lift up, breath in, lead with the heart. When the head and the heart are in one line, we have harmony. We ignite what's best. We're aligned in what's best. Take a breath in. Try and bring your heart into the soles of your feet. And as we start to bring this practice to a close here, whichever one spoke most to you, whether you are celebrating you showing up to this week, to this practice, to this challenge of giving 100%. Whether you're here for somebody else currently or you're here in honor of somebody. Just hold that person in your mind's eye. Take a full breath in. And with your exhale breath, we're going to lift up. You can encourage the knees coming together here. Kick the heels out, just a little hip mobility before we come to the ground. They're called 90-90s. Lift and see here if you can drop the knees right, open your chest, option to drop the palms right outside of your left thigh. Come back to center, sit up tall, go left. See if you can twist all the way over your left thigh and then come back to center. Do that one more time, breathe in. Exhale. Keep that awareness strong. Lift up. Exhale, twist. And then slowly come back to center. Take a full breath in. From here, see if you can sit up tall and then slowly recline back. Okay, core control here. Until you reach the ground one final time here, we'll sweep the knees back into the chest. And we'll take it into a figure four stretch on our back before we bring this home. Left ankle, top of your right knee. Just like we did standing, but now it's a little bit more passive, um, but still very active, right? You're still opening your outer left hip. And there's lots of places to go here. Please take this to your level. You can extend the left leg, you can hug the right foot, or excuse me, left foot into the left elbow. And then team will switch. So what I encourage you to do here is kick both legs to the sky, arms to the sky, I call it weightless pose. Give it a little shake, take a breath in. And without using your hands to start, see if you can bring your outer right ankle top of your left knee and then find your progressions. Maybe you interlace behind the left knee Remember to flex through your right toes. Another great option is to press your right palm into your thigh. And again, a little bit deeper, right foot into the crease of the opposite elbow. You can extend the leg long. We're here for three, for two. 
and for one. Again, everything to the sky, weightless pose. Take a breath in. And with an exhale breath, like you're in water, let everything float down to the ground, soles of the feet to the earth, arms open up wide. And then drop the knees over to the right, let your head fall over to the left. Come back to center. Drop the knees over to the left. The head comes to the right to complete the twist. And then we'll come back to center and we'll extend nice and long into our final rest pose. Together, open mouth, exhale. Let all the air out of the lungs. And take up as much residence on the ground, like big, in yin yoga we call this pentacle pose. You're supposed to represent a five-pointed star, representing that light that lives in all of us. And as you settle into this moment of rest, this is where we integrate all of our efforts this week, not just this time on our mats, but everything we journeyed through together this week. Give yourself just a few moments here. What I would like to invite you to do is with the eyes closed, if you feel full and you have that vitality and you can tap into the light in the heart and the love that is such a part of the fabric of our being. One more time, please call to mind that person or may, maybe the people that are amidst treatment, fighting for their well-being, fighting for their survivorship, in the fight for cures. And think of sending that love out to that person, lifting them up supplying them with vitality, well-being, and love. And if it helps you, you can even envision, envision it as a light that like wraps them in an embrace. And then let us expand that vision to everybody who has participated in this cause. From the people who led movement classes this week to the entire organization of Pedal the Cause, to all of our beneficiaries through Pedal the Cause, like Moore's Cancer Center, like Radies, to the healthcare teams, to everybody who is a part of this, who plays a part, and just see that love, that vitality, that strength of well being, prosperity in all of its forms, all the giving of the 100%, just elevate this community. Holding the light, holding the vision. There is absolutely no rush, no race to break from that vision here, but if you're ready to slowly let it go, you'll bring awareness back into your body, feel yourself on the ground, breathe into your body, 
add in some gentle movement. And then whichever side calls you forward, just roll over to that side, resting in that fetal position, and then join me in this seated position. And we'll take the hands to prayer heart center, uniting the left and the right hemisphere, recognizing that we are whole. And then we'll take the hands up to the center of the forehead, remembering that movement lifts us up. It energizes our mind, uplifts our mind to have higher levels of thinking, more enlightened levels of thinking. And then we'll take the thumbs here to the heart where movement inspires our lives and affects all facets. So to you for showing up this week, for your grit, for your effort. To the people that we are supporting, all those affected by cancer, all those amidst treatment, to the research, and of course, to those that are no longer with us. When we unite what's best, we come to collaborate, we all play our part, we all contribute, we move mountains. Thank you, thank you for being here. From my heart to yours, together in yoga we say, Namaste. Team, doesn't stop here, okay? Um, just because we stop our movement, the movement, right? Movement can mean literally, but it, we mean it figuratively too. That when we can come together, please go and share all of your movements today with us um, on, on the gram, on the social media, tag uh, Pedal San Diego, rally all your friends, your family. Um, and remember that um, so much of this is, is because of you, us joining together. When we come together, we can expand this movement. Um, Pedal the Cause, again, supplies, helps fund local research through everything and 100% of the proceeds today, 100% of the proceeds, 100%, I'm gonna say that again, 100%, just like you gave 100%, 100% goes to contributing to all of the research that we fund here in San Diego. Thank you so much.